Welcome to STEM Space at Home, the place where you can do science and engineering videos right in the comfort of your own home. I'm your host, Aspen Meineke, a mechanical engineer, and in today's video, we're going to be designing a spacesuit for a mission to Mars. Let's talk about spacesuits. So you can't just wear a t-shirt and shorts when traveling through space. Scientists and engineers spend years meticulously designing suits for astronauts to wear for their journey through space. Have you seen the bright orange spacesuits that astronauts wear during a launch? These NASA spacesuits are called the Advanced Crew Escape Suit. The purpose of this is to protect the astronauts if something were to go wrong during the launch of the rocket. These suits contain a supply of air, water, even a parachute, radios, flares, and other safety supplies. During the latest SpaceX mission, SpaceX unveiled their launch suits to be this black and gray sleek design instead of orange. The spacesuit's primary purpose is to protect the crew in the unlikely event that the cabin were to depressurize. But the suit does a number of additional things. It provides cooling and communication to the crew inside of the suit, it provides them hearing protection, and the outer layer of the suit is flame resistant, so it provides flame protection as well. When the crew gets in the capsule, they get in their seats and they plug the suit into the umbilical that's attached to the seat. And the umbilical is providing everything that the suit needs. So Another type of spacesuit is called an EVA suit, or an extravehicular activity suit. You've probably seen these white spacesuits, and they're worn by astronauts when they're performing spacewalks or doing work outside of the ISS in space. So let's take a closer look on how EVA suits protect astronauts in space. The first piece of a spacesuit that an astronaut puts on is called the cooling garment. It's made of a stretchy spandex material and water tubes. So these tubes are woven into the material and they have water flowing through them to keep astronauts cool during their spacewalk. Materials in this suit protect astronauts from these extreme temperatures. It also protects them from space dust. And while that doesn't sound very dangerous, and it's very, very tiny, it can move as fast as a bullet and can actually cause some pretty bad damage to a spacesuit. The spacesuit also has gloves. This helps keep the fingers warm, which is actually the part of the body that gets the coldest during spacewalks. The gloves have special space heaters to keep their fingers warm while they're working. The helmet on the spacesuit has a visor to help protect the astronauts from the bright sunlight. It has a ventilation system to even provide the astronauts oxygen and a tiny piece of foam that astronauts can use to scratch their nose. They also have a communication system that the astronauts can use to talk to each other or even back to mission control on Earth. On the back of a spacesuit, there is a backpack. This is called the Portable Life Support Subsystem. The backpack also provides electricity for the suit. NASA scientists and engineers are constantly working on improvements and new types of designs for the future spacesuit. NASA recently unveiled their design for an EVA suit for their Artemis mission as this white, red, and blue design. Tell us in the comments which design you like better. Do you like the white suit or the red, white, and blue suit? So let's jump into our engineering design challenges. For today's activity, you're going to have two different types of challenges that by the end of it, you'll have your very own spacesuit. For this activity, you're going to need tape, scissors, construction paper, markers, and then any colored pencils or decorative supplies you might have. We are using the engineering design process for this activity, so let's discuss the design constraints or rules for this challenge. For your design, you must make a boot for one foot, the design must go over your shoe, must stay on while you walk across a room, and it needs to enclose your entire foot to keep you safe from the radiation on Mars. Then brainstorm your design on a sheet of paper. What will your astronaut boot look like? What designs will you add to the outside to make it yours? Once you successfully complete the challenge and can walk across the room without any pieces of your shoe falling off, then you can move on to mission two. 
For mission two, you're gonna to wanna to use the remaining supplies, so the construction paper, decorative supplies, markers, tape, and you wanna build a helmet to protect your head from micrometeoroids and radiation. The design constraints for this challenge is that it must cover your entire head, make sure to leave a space for you to breathe out of, it must also have a visor to protect you from the sunlight, and must sit comfortably on the shoulders. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to post your designs on social media using hashtag STEMSpace at home. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I can't wait to see all of your designs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.